Hey guys, uh, good evening. Uh, we have Varun and Anu joining uh, today. A duo couple who is going live today uh, evening to make it memorable. So Varun has been a leader and CEO. I I'm really not sure how he has three kids. How, how did he get time to <laughs> get on three kids? But yeah, uh, lovely chemistry between both of them. Uh, uh, you know, now out of uh, the CEO position, Varun is now you know cheerleading and he's got his own uh, you know YouTube channel. Apart from that, he runs this particular group which is like pretty good. It's called. Uh, the recipe exchange where you know you can exchange recipes and you know uh, make wonders and you know share the idea so that you know this is you're encouraging others and you know uh, get get them uh, you know tuned into your recipes uh, he was in the automobile industries and you know he's been leading as a leader uh, and managing a lot of teams he's got a lot of achievements uh, awards uh, which let's not talk about that uh, and uh, yeah the baking queen anu is here so i don't i i know very little about uh, anu but uh, maybe you know uh, varun can t talk more about okay this is this is uh, tricky okay varun you will only talk about uh, anu and anu you will only talk about varun so you know that you've got awesome. like 5 minutes each for both of you Let, let's make this happen perfect so first of all ravi thank you for having us uh, it's a pleasure and uh, my name is Varun Rao, as you mentioned earlier, my wife Anu. Hi, so, everyone. So I'm going to be talking about her. So let's start with her. And Anu has been, you know, sort of the foundation of our family. And you asked how we had three kids. Well, we did. And I'm, uh, the part <laughs> of how we had them is slightly censored. So we'll skip that part for this particular purpose <laughs> since we have a very varied audience. But, um, you know, so... Uh, she um, uh, takes care of the three kids, not only three kids, we recently, uh, we, had, we have a dog, we have a female golden retriever, oh. and she had a litter of eight pups. So for the last two months, oh in addition to taking, taking care of three kids and the fourth kid myself, she's also been taking care of eight pups. Okay, so, I mean, Superwoman over here, I actually, a lot of my friends call me Superman because I like the character and they make me to it, but this is the real Superwoman of the family. So, um... She has been, uh, oh boy, I think cooking for many years. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there are a few favorite dishes. She's from Kashmir. So, um, oh, a wow. father is Kashmiri, a mother is from Lucknow. Mm -hmm. So, already you have a nice food culture. Lucknow is known for Tezi and food. Um, I, you know, mind myself, I'm half Maharashtra and half Sindhi. My father's side lives actually in your city in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. And um, my mother, being Sindhi, of course, had to move from Pakistan to various places. So between the two of us, we have a nice all India food culture. But uh, she started cooking, uh, you know, she started cooking earlier in life, I'm sure. And I don't know much before we got married, but after we got married, she's been cooking. We've had cooks, but she also guides them. Uh, in addition to that, you know, her passion really in the cooking area is baking. Mm -hmm. So what she does is makes all the baked goods. And I look at it and say, okay, what can I make that goes with these baked goods? So a good example would be like a burger. So she will make a sesame bun, but she mm -hmm. makes the best sesame buns. We've actually, uh, for your information, stopped buying bread, oh. croissants, any sorts of buns mm -hmm. uh, from the market for a long time now because we've got the expert in-house. So why bother going outside, right? So she'll make the sesame buns and um, I will make the meat patty or vegetable patty and all the sides that go with it. So it's a nice sort of um, group effort between the two of us. Uh, she... I'm going to talk about her more. So she has been a fashion designer in the past. That's actually her career. That's also how we met uh, in the U.S. She had come in for um, some client meetings, and I was living in the U.S. back then. And um, as I say, we met. Love at first sight. Rest is history. So, um, but but you were supposed to do a client meeting, right? So, yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> Uh, I have I have sort of charms, you know, that I can I, I, sort of, I talked her into skipping the client meeting and you know, having a meeting with me instead. It was more fun that way. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's you know we got married. It's been actually July fourth. Uh, this Sunday will be sixteen years. Wow! And, Congratulations. Um, and you want to hear a funny story? I'll tell you one. I um, you know when we were living in the U.S. back then when we got married, I said you know honey, no matter what, on uh, on our anniversary we'll always have fireworks, right? Because the fourth of July in the U.S. and Literally four yeah. months, no, four months after that, we made the decision to move to India. So the whole fireworks thing went <laughs> went for a cause. <laughs> well, we still have fireworks. Yeah, different yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, 
but you know so so that's uh, that's her um, super mom super wife and uh, the other passion she will maybe not tell you but looking at her you can tell she's an exercise freak um, oh. i think the, you know i'm sure you've heard of cult fitness you probably run solely because of her uh, she's like the biggest proponent biggest customer biggest all of that uh, she so now that they're shut because of covid she's doing the online cult um, okay. classes that's how she stays fit and um, uh, for me to stay fit i'm always on a seafood diet mm. i just see food and i eat it <laughs> Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so that's it. What else can I say about her? You want to? So your turn. Yeah, yeah, your turn now. Uh, because I know you, all you've been doing. I mean, I, you know, we can imagine the chemistry between both of you because anything he talks, whether it's not even a joke, you are just blushing or and you know laughing about it. <laughs> <all. laughs> so. uh, that is true. Uh, from the time that we met, this is uh, going back seventy years. Uh, Varun has been cooking all these amazing dishes, and he's been charming me. Uh, that's how I got roped in. And uh, to tell you the truth, uh, I don't think a day went by when I thought, "What are we going to eat?" Because hmm. he was always, you know, making something or the other interesting. Uh, I remember uh, so many times when I was pregnant and we were in the U.S. Um, I would have cravings in the middle of the night. <laughs> And, and he's it the one. wasn't something that I wanted from a store um, or from a restaurant. He had to make it. Um, there was this really, really nice uh, time that I wanted a hamburger. Hmm. And this was in the middle of the night. It was snowing outside. But Varun went on, just to switched on the grill, came back, and then <laughs> made the entire party <laughs> from scratch, made the burger in the middle of the night. And that was the best one that I... Ever had. Just to give some context, it was minus 18 <laughs> degrees because this is in northern in Michigan. We lived in okay. Michigan for the time in the US. So minus 18 yeah. and the time was 1 a.m. So it wasn't like you know mm. afternoon or something. <laughs> in the middle of the night. And it's been uh, a roller coaster uh, ride ever since. Uh I even when I was pregnant and I was, you know, taking care of my little wine, he would be feeding me. There were times that I would be holding the baby and he would be feeding me from the same plate. It, he just pampered me like no one. <laughs> <He worked. laughs> yeah. and, and, I, and I love his food. I just, uh, I just love eating. So I have to exercise a lot harder in order to maintain well, because I can't eating. stop eating. It's just great food. <laughs> good one. Good, good. So I think you're changing the definition uh, here, Varun. You know, um, there is a saying, right? Uh, you know, the way to man's heart uh, is like through his stomach. I mean, that is is that the quote? I, I think you're changing that uh, gender Absolutely. here. Absolutely, I I totally agree. He has <laughs> converted that uh, to, me, to my heart was surely through my stomach. See, I, I got one. <laughs> yeah, my my love affair with food has been. Um, I mean, I won't tell you how long ago because I know how old I am, <laughs> but it's been very long. Um, all I'll tell you is, is that I'll give you one small story. So I was in college and I remember this is a Sindhi dish called Sai Bhaji. My mom is Sindhi and I, you know, that's sort of soul food for me because I grew up eating that. Mm -hmm. So I'm on a phone call and uh, keep in mind, this is the early 90s when one, doll, one phone call to the US was $2 a minute. So wildly okay. expensive. And I spent an entire hour on the phone trying to make uh, this dish with step-by-step -step guidance. And at the end of it, I'd spent $120 and it went down the drain. <laughs> so that's the day I promised myself that, you know what, not only I will learn to cook, but I will become the best cook that I can. <laughs> and um, like I say, the rest is history. And here we are today. <laughs> but then you also uh, said that, you know, you want your kids to know all these oh, amazing yeah. foods. And that's how uh, he decided to start the recipe exchange and the YouTube channel because he was like, well, you know, I want to record all of these hmm. recipes so that our kids can make it later. Yeah. Our uh, oldest one is going to be in college in a couple of years. Um, and, so uh, he'll be you know, so, out yeah, so soon. slightly different reasons. A YouTube channel. Uh, now, actually, we have about four or five hundred subscribers. And for those who are watching, please do subscribe. Varun, Vijay, Rao, just look it up. But, um, you know, I started it really as a recipe memoir for my kids, especially my oldest daughter who will be off, like Anu said, to college in two years. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want her to go through what I went through. I don't want her to spend 
time on a phone call, holding a phone like this and trying to stir. Um, so now she has videos that are online, and that's the reason we started it. We had the time during the lockdown, worked out great. Uh, the recipe exchange was, you know, a few of my buddies just on a phone call. They keep calling me and saying, hey, WhatsApp me this recipe, WhatsApp me that recipe. And mm. it just became cumbersome trying to copy and paste or even typing it again. So I said, you know what, what if you just start a group, put the recipes there, and then everybody has everybody access to it. So the idea again was just close friends would be there, but we have, I think, 2,200 members now and over 2,000 recipes in just two months. So that's grown uh, a lot more than um, we thought it would, but that's a good thing. Yeah. So it also increases the excitement. So you're anyway cooking, okay? You're anyway baking, baking and, you know, making these recipes. All you're doing is adding, uh, you know, you're recording it. And when, since you're doing it for, uh, you know, a larger audience, you know, obviously that excitement and, you know, the way you're doing it also, you know, builds up. Uh, so the entire experience of cooking changes. So one quick question, uh, you know, how did you get this particular name of uh, Chef Pronier? You know, how did you get this idea of Chef Pronier? Were you okay, the first okay, ones to that? try this or, you know, it was like, I've copied a couple of brands. Uh, so. Yeah. No, so um, so okay, so you know, I I was like you said, I was a CEO uh, for a U.S. company for many years in India and 20 years in the U.S. before that. And about a year and a half ago, I decided to quit and become an entrepreneur. So I started my own um, automotive manufacturing unit along with a partner. Two of us own it together, and so I became an entrepreneur, right? Uh, but on the side, I'm also a chef. Um, mm. You know, Anu and I participated in the C uh, CEO Master Chef competition, which we won uh, three years ago. Three, three years ago. So it was, you know, so cooking is a passion. So being a chef is a passion. Entrepreneur is what I do now. So just we kind of put those two together and became the chefpreneur. Wow. Good one. Good one. Because I, I've recently heard about mompreneurs and, you know, now you have chefpreneurs. <laughs> so and there are a lot of people who are getting into a YouTube channel for cooking. So awesome channel. The quality of your content is really good. I, I've gone through a couple of videos and I would love to, you know, go through more of them as we go by. Uh, so what what were the interesting stories? I mean, what was the best uh, YouTube uh, video that you created? Need not be the number of ah. views, people there, but what was the most hilarious or best moment video you created? One. <laughs> so, okay, I, I would say two. One is chocolate chip cookies by my 15-year-old. You have to watch that. We actually included behind the scenes footage because it was just so hilarious. Uh, so that was, an, I, and that for me was fantastic because I actually watched that afterwards it was a surprise for me so okay. i didn't see the shoot so okay. i saw it first time like any other viewer so i i love that and the second one and i'm going to say this because she won't say it but the best video that we have uh, no matter how you judge it in terms of response from uh, people or viewership or minutes watch whatever metric you look at mm -hmm. is this lady right here with mozzarella cheese <laughs> unbeatable unbeatable video i mean you think about it you know when you think about like i make um, a lot of uh, exotic uh, high, you know dishes that you serve in um, michelin star five star restaurants but i mm -hmm. also do like soul food like pepper andhra pepper chicken for example that's a video that's not released yet but we've already made the video it'll be out soon uh, but you know those are videos i mean i think people will look at those videos and say wow that's a complex dish but everyone right. wants to know how to make bread at home how to make mozzarella at home so people relate i think to her content more than they do to mine though i started the channel so now it's really you know our channel more so her channel than mine i'd say oh, no. uh the only reason I wanted uh, everyone to see how to make it is because while we were in the lockdown, it was so difficult to get all of these things. Um, kids would want pizza and there was no way we could order it mm -hmm. from anywhere. Um, of course, I used to make pizza earlier. It was, a, you know, the base was easy to make. I'd figured out everything else. But how do you get the toppings? If you don't get mm -hmm. the toppings, then, you know, it's just it's like tomato sauce on a pizza base. But then... Because our kids love just plain cheese pizza, I decided to make the cheeses. And I realized it's so easy to make it. And the quality is amazing. Why not share that with everyone else? Let them also yeah. make it at home. Um, of course, save a few pennies in the bargain. Mm. Good one. So, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, Anup, uh, so did you, um, that's an awesome tattoo on you. So was that before uh, marrying Varun or... Uh, yeah, after you yes. realized he's the Krishna and, you know, you got <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, my uh, tattoo has been there. I'm uh, Krishna. I'm Krishna. <laughs> that's, that's true, actually. Um, when uh, 
we were dating, I told him that. I was like, you're my Krishna. Uh, <laughs> but the reason I got this tattoo done, this was in 2000. And I uh, got it done while I was studying in London. And mm. uh, I just wanted something which drew permanence to me. I was by myself. My family was here. Uh, and I was looking at something that I could tell my grandchildren that, hey, I'm proud, really, really proud to have this uh, tattoo. I didn't get it done on a whim or, you know, because I was high or something. <laughs> it was because I really wanted something permanent in my life. And the only permanence I had at that time was uh, Krishna. And uh, so, yeah, that's the reason why I got the Lalu Gopal. <laughs> so how do you safeguard this Krishna? He, he is going oh, out, now he is public, he is on a YouTube channel, people are watching him, people are texting him. How do you safeguard? Your, your uh, answer will help my wife a lot, okay? So please carefully answer. Yes, there are so many people out there, so many uh, ladies who are uh, constantly <laughs> giving him a look. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm the lucky one. <laughs> yeah. Good one. So, Chalo, we have some questions for you, Varun and Anu. Uh, lovely sure. combination. It, it's great to hear, you know, how you started this and uh, lots of wishes uh, in how what you're doing and, you know, how you're doing. So, okay. here we go with the first question. So, you, you can decide who can answer this, uh, but, you know, uh, it would be fun if both are fighting to answer. <laughs> okay. Buzzer out. <laughs> Get some buzzers here. We need a buzzer. What, what makes you the happiest? Well, the the children, when they enjoy the food and they finish everything and we are with no leftovers, mm -hmm. that's what really enjoy. Uh, you know, I really enjoy that. Okay, we agree on this. The kids make, make us the happiest for sure. And especially for me, like you said, when I was a CEO, I was on the road all the time traveling internationally. So even weekends, I would miss with the family. The last one and a half years has been a blessing. And the last three months with the kids not having school has even been a bigger yeah. blessing, I'd say, because... We've really bonded together as a family, you know, and I feel like I just know my kids so much more than I did even two years ago. So, absolutely, kids. When were you One working, uh, you know, Varun? I, I, you were a leader and, you know, you had so much of time, you know, building companies. You know, you said you were traveling most of the time. I, I still, <laughs> maybe we can talk offline on this. When did I have time for what? <laughs> <laughs> For cooking, your passion and all that. See, I, I seriously so, feel once you get into this role of leadership, right? You're, you're the CEO and, you know, there are too many things running in your mind. You're, you're managing business. You're thinking about how to grow the business. You're managing team. You're, you're uh, obviously, you know, uh, handling the management and, you know. So, it like 12 hours is not enough. And in this, you're also, you know, driving your passion. So, my question is, how, how are you, how were you able to manage all this? So I, I disagree with you there uh, because, you know, being a good leader, this is my space. I've said this piece so many times. So anyway, being a good leader is about developing good people. You know, one thing I've always done throughout my career mm -hmm. is to make sure I surround myself with good people. And when I look at a person and hire them, mm -hmm. I, the, the, um, my only intent is can this person replace me in my job? So, you know, if you try to be, unfortunately, a lot of people in the corporate world are very selfish. Mm -hmm. uh, they hold information. They want to hire people who are substandard just so they shine. And uh, I've taken the opposite tack and it's worked fantastically for me. So I hire people who basically, see, my job is guidance, mm -hmm. strategic, etc., etc. So I do that part. And uh, the optional execution, I leave it uh, to everyone else. So I do that correctly. Then I have the time um to myself yes. and with my family so when i um when i was an actual for example yes the first year year and a half was tough but the next three years after that um we had the right team in place i was home at five uh from 5 30 to 7 30 i was playing badminton we had dinner as a family every night with the exception of when i traveled of course so mm -hmm. i i had the time uh, you have to find the time for your passions i think that's really the answer True. so now now this is getting like you know <clears throat> you know too too much like, bohat pyar, uh, so next question is, uh, what was the last argument about? I can tell you that. There's one thing that uh, everyone knows about Varun. He um, is an OCD. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, we, we didn't know about that. Yeah, but now it is live. Everybody knows about it. <laughs> yes, I come here and I am baking, and uh, it's not a hundred percent. He comes in and say, "What have you done to my kitchen?" <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know that. So, I, I, so other okay. than me and the kids, nobody else is allowed to be in his space over here. Uh, we have another outdoor kitchen which is used for deep frying and all the stuff there. The gravies are flying everywhere. Mm -hmm. So when I'm baking and I have flour all over the counter and I'm doing stuff here and I'm doing stuff there, he comes and suddenly goes wild and he's like, that's it. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Yeah. My kitchen is a mess. <laughs> yeah, like Gordon Ramsay style. Stop what you're doing. Get out of my kitchen. In fact, I don't know if you can tell, but right now we are in my kitchen. My yes. kitchen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I agree. I say that even in all the videos, I am in Gordon's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, I'm positive about the space. So I want to stick and span and spotless. Uh, that and the spaces that I that I use, the dining table, the bedroom. But you know, with three kids and eight dogs at home, you can't keep everything clean. But yes, I do have OCD to a large extent. That's just mm, yeah. me. <laughs> but th I think that that's also one of the prerequisites of being a perfect chef, uh, because you know a lot of people don't know. I have started my career with hotel management. So one of the oh, things which was trained is uh, to keep your kitchen clean the way it was before you started cooking. So. But yeah, but yeah, too much of OCD uh, on your own family. Thoda matlab uh, jada ho jata hai, but <laughs> good one, good argument. Uh, so anytime, we, uh, Anu, did you just walk out saying that this is enough, you know, tum kar lo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come back quickly, wipe out wherever I've left the dirt and then go back again. <laughs> See, but, but, uh, so, kia is not, kia is 100% kia, but at the same time, She's also she also takes pride in her cooking, right? Now, while mm -hmm. I can bake, I the reason I don't bake is because when baking you have to measure exactly. I'm a freestyle cook, you know, thoda yeh dalia, thoda wo dalia, inventive style, uh -huh. creative style, whatever. And she's more tack tack tack. She will measure. She has these measuring devices all over the place, mm -hmm. and they're you know all like accurate to the milligram and all that. So yeah. so so, so if she <laughs> the, when she walks up the kitchen when she's baking. I said, fine, I'll just finish it. So, 60 seconds later, she realized, oh crap, he's going to just screw this up. So, she comes right back. So, there, there have been times that I'm weighing out, uh, if I'm making a bagel or I'm make, making croissant, I have to weigh out each and every piece mm. of it before I can roll it and do the next bit. And if in the middle of it, you know, something happens, that's it. I've lost count of how many did I do, what I have to restart. Uh, there have been times that I've you know, goofed up on the amount of butter I have put in the croissant because I went overboard and there was so much butter oozing everywhere and I was like, oh, I'm not going to do it again, but I have to because um, croissant, again, is something that mm -hmm. uh, uh, requires a lot of patience, has to be done over a period of time. So basically, you have OCD also, that's what you're <laughs> yes, I mean, You know, measuring each and everything, it has to be perfectly uh, in sync. <laughs> cool. So, uh, you know, next question, you know, what outfit does your partner force you to wear, which you're really uncomfortable with? Um, Are kids watching the show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, we have a different channel called K12. <laughs> you know, the kids are not watching the show. Yeah, so uh, you, you want to go first? Um, no, not really. I don't think there's anything that Varun would not wear. I have to tell you this uh, one time that we had a Halloween party in mm -hmm. uh, the Kudus <laughs> neighborhood. You're embarrassing me on my camera. <laughs> and uh, no, uh, yeah. you know, everybody had to dress up differently. I was dressed up as a mummy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I brought out an uh, outfit. A woman's outfit, and <laughs> Varun wore it, and he wore a oh, wig, wow. and I got him these beautiful nails, and we you know, no, sorry, chewed on a, the nails. It was a golden wig and a tube top. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I had just flown in from London. I was jet lagged. It was yes. eight p.m. I, was, I wanted to have like nice kitchen or day travel and go to sleep, but it's like no, no, no it's Halloween party in the community, and this is what you're wearing. So uh, and you won't believe how many women and men. It's on him that's nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Men for sure. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Anu, you would have you would have shared that particular picture with me just before uh, this particular thing. I, I would have you know broadcasted it live. I'm sure. Oh, right. I don't know whether he would like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> so, okay, now my turn. I 
again, she likes to dress in Western clothes, as you can see, but Indian as well. But um, what I like to see is her wear a sari more often. Mm. Um, not because I'm a traditionalist. I just think a sari is so elegant as a dress. Uh, and, you know, women just look beautiful. There's, there's, uh, there's difference between, you know, hot, sexy, cute, pretty, and then there's beautiful. So I think a woman looks beautiful in a sari. So, mama, mm. sari. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, what, Anu, what, go out yeah, Anu, what was your first impression when you saw him? Ah, um, the first time that I saw him, I was like, uh, uh, he's a kid. <laughs> he looks a lot younger than his age. So, when I saw him, I was like, ah, oh, maybe he's younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure whether I was uh, meeting the right guy. I was uh, still thinking, but then, uh, you know, once we went out and he... Oh, got me these amazing uh, pizzas. Um, and yeah. lots of booze. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, we love our booze. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, Varun, what about yes. you? What, what was your thought process when you saw her? Actually, the Krishna tattoo. It, was, it just stands out <laughs> so much. So, when I saw her, I said, okay, she's a Krishna buck. And, um, you know, I didn't, I mean, I wasn't judging one way or the other. It was just an observation. But more than that, it was just like this beautiful tattoo. And I said, okay, she's, um, so when I see a tattoo for me, I say, okay, no, forward thinking. So one checkbox done. Obviously, good looking, two checkbox done. <laughs> so that was what I thought. I said, okay, I think this is going to work. So I just went all out. What, what was your expression when you were seeing at this tattoo? I mean, sometimes men make this expression, you know, staring at them, staring at the tattoo. Is that something you Luckily, it was on the arm, so stare bhi kya, kuch parak nahi pada, na. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, but I looked at it and I looked at it and I just went, wow, that's really pretty. Who's more romantic? I think I am. <laughs> Rubbish, I am for sure. <laughs> Well, after okay. a few drinks, I will talk more. <laughs> uh, after a few drinks, before a few drinks, me. So you have to qualify. <laughs> so it depends on how you ask the question and when you ask it. <laughs> so good. So what? What? Uh, you know? Have you guys ever tried to uh, hide things to avoid trouble, or lie to each other to avoid a trouble? You answering? <laughs> Which married couple doesn't? Right. I so know basically, I <laughs> huh, so she has. She's saying, I, I mean, I have to. So white flies, you know. Um, I don't think either of us has ever done anything malicious. I'm hoping not. At least not from my end. I'm hoping not from that end. But uh, at the same time, you know, there are always these white lies, and that you say just to keep the relationship strong. So that uh, what the hota you? Yeah, I I have to even uh, sometimes hide bills. <laughs> <laughs> And then you find the bill and you say, like, you spent so much. And say, like, yes, it was on. <laughs> no, no. But to give her credit, so the bill will be large, no doubt. Okay, that's not true. But that's true. But she's never spent money on herself. It's always buying something for the house or for mm. the children. Yeah. Like yeah. today also, I came back with the bill and he's like, what happened? And I was like, well, you know, I had to buy food for the puppies and I had to buy meats and I had to buy all these things because... You know, what if we are not able to go out for the next one month? <laughs> see, in that sense, we're opposite. I love to see, because I traveled so much and I was working outside for so many years, I love staying home. And I can do that for two or three months. This COVID now is not bothering me in terms of the lockdown because I'm very happy. She or the other one gets very fidgety. Two days ke baad, third day, she has to go. Even yeah, she shop. has to go shop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there are few people who do that. You know, in, in our community also, we had vendors who came and, you know, were putting vegetables and all that. But few housewives just bahana chahiye unko bahar jane ke liye, uh, you know, drive uh-huh. out and then buy something. Though everything is available so, luckily, here. Uh, uh, we actually are in a very safe and uh, uh, the neighborhood is, uh, I guess, you know, really nicely placed. We get a lot of things home delivered yeah. and exotic fruits and vegetables. Uh, mm. So if it's the basic stuff like onion, tomatoes, potatoes, yes, we need to go out and get those. But when it comes to foods uh, like, um, you know, salads mm-hmm. or uh, greens, we have these amazing uh, <laughs> vendors who give us mushrooms and certain cuts of meats. Uh, 
we're we're in heaven when it comes to all of that and the energy she has i mean you know she'll sleep 3 hours a night and then she'll go on and on and i'm sitting i'm in my bed looking at her and i just look at her and i get tired <laughs> i'm like how do you do <laughs> so varun what's her uh, worst habit Oh, 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 oh. So worst habit um I think is um which one should I say <laughs> <laughs> So um you know she's um not organized but I think you know I'd say she's organized but maybe because I have OCD I feel like she's not organized Okay no, I'm, I'm not organized for sure uh, um I even if I make a list mm-hmm. of what i have to get i always go overboard so ravi tell me what is the purpose of this show to make couples fight or anything <laughs> no <laughs> okay but good one so that, my worst habit say you can also say yeah she is already yeah. told right ocd you know this basically i was pointing at at you so that you get yeah. a chance also you know a lot of time men don't get a chance to talk so that's true <laughs> <laughs> okay uh you know tell something about your wedding so how long did it take for the wedding to plan and you know uh, some sweet and you know weird memories out of your wedding now you have kids and all that right so you know no harm in sharing that across yeah okay so go ahead okay start. so um, the wedding time was really exciting for me because as a fashion designer i was able to uh, do all that designing that i wanted for uh, not only my trousseau but for Varun as well and I, I loved it I loved every bit of it uh, there were times that we were in Lucknow getting the fabric printed where the embroidery would be done because um, Lucknow as you know is famous for chicken curry and right. chicken curry chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah when <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are interviewing chefs yeah, yeah some of these mistakes do yeah. happen <laughs> so, so th- there were times that uh, you know we would be there getting it done and I wasn't happy with the color of the embroidery thread and i would get it dyed again and okay. walking those streets and of course when we are walking through streets of lucknow you have to eat and how much i ate and i was like i'm not going to fit into my clothes so i'm going to fit into my leg and my blouse i'm all chart and eating and biryani uh, so i i never gave up eating i don't think i've ever gone on a diet uh, yes yeah. you have you don't need fried food that's that's not a diet that's my uh, my so, type of ocd this is, this is like lie lie right here lie lie <laughs> <laughs> so yes even during the wedding time i decided on the menu you know, mm-hmm. and i don't want anything fried and my parents were like you're not the only one eating you do realize there are going to be 300 other people like thank you, you have to thank keep you. them like but i don't want to eat something fried but you know we we still uh, we still ended up having a lot of good for me see i, I like whatever occasion it is right um actually wedding you know your family time all this stuff but i read everything to food so there was um, the sun no before the sangeet night at your home the parents home for mm-hmm. now so we um, yes. then cuz we had this absolutely phenomenal kashmiri feast i mean you mm-hmm. name the kashmiri dish and it was there and it was there in large quantities wow. so that um that's a stand out memory for me for yes, sure yes the the vaza actually had come home yeah. and all the food was cooked uh in the backyard uh amazing kashmiri food uh i'm i'm so proud of uh, the heritage that i have uh, as far as kashmiri food goes because i get all those recipes from my grandmom who mm. taught my mom and of course i have you know used them modified them uh okay, next time we should do a fight biryani fight on lucknowi biryani because i'm on some lucknowi yeah, like and, and hyderabadi biryani, biryani. biryani. <laughs> yeah the <laughs> uh, biryani that i make is a hyderabadi style of biryani oh, and i is... like well you like that too i like it too but, but the kids but like, kids like uh, the lucknowi one because it's more flavorful oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, there was <laughs> this movie like which was uh, about lucknowi and hyderabadi biryani right uh, not getting his name of the movie uh, davat davate something davate ishq Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A very good movie. Like, I should be saying. I don't, I don't see it. <clears throat> It's a Hindi movie. Uh, Pariniti Chopra and uh, I'm not getting the guy's name, uh, the hero's name. Uh, what? I mean, it's more about cooking and during the wedding. I mean, wedding se pehle, 
tell one secret which uh, you guys did uh, during your uh, bachelor party <laughs> bachelor party um well i remember uh, the girls wanted to uh, figure out a way of getting uh, uh, a guy to the party <laughs> but uh, it kind of stopped and then we ended up having just the five of us uh, the the group of five girls that we are it, it, we just had a wild night drinking away and obviously doing crazy girl stuff <laughs> <laughs> what about you varun chupai rustam i i snuck up and i met her <laughs> they said you can't see can't go see your wife you know the day before the wedding and all that i said i can't wait boss let's go ja raha so i snuck <laughs> out of our hotel ye ye kuch hazam nahi ho rahi varun you know somehow you know before then, meeting her after meeting her kuch hua tha see all i'll tell you is we were married on july 4th 2004 oh god okay so i'll give you Our oldest daughter was born on March 17, 2005. Now you do the math. इसके आगे मैं कुछ नहीं बोल रहा हूँ. Who who's uh, most sentimental out of uh, both of you? Uh, I think I am. No. <laughs> okay, maybe you are too a little bit, but <laughs> I cry more than you. <laughs> you make me cry a lot. <laughs> no, after few drinks, so I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's when I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I told you, he he likes to get me drunk. He makes all these amazing cocktails and. Uh, Uh, experiments them on me and then we know the effect <laughs> mm. see i i have to make a new uh, cocktail every week to keep the youtube channel fresh so right. she's my guinea pig i make <laughs> i make it and then if she likes it then i then she keeps asking for more then i say okay this is a good one let's publish this yeah so um, that's how it works i i'm a very uh, straight forward jack daniels a little bit of diet coke a little bit of water lots of ice standard drink that's for right. 20 plus years Yeah, so uh, once in a while I might have a martini, but that's about it. No, I, I on the other hand, love uh, of cocktails, uh, whether it's vodka, tequila. <laughs> tequila, no more tequila for you. No more tequila for you. <laughs> Surprisingly, tequila, tequila doesn't sounds. work on me, Varun. So you know, somehow tequila oh, doesn't at all work on me. Uh, two small breezes are enough for me to get full, and you know, I cannot walk to the washroom. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Somehow doesn't work on me. I, I don't know what is the mystery behind it. Uh, so I I need experts like you to work on some theses and you know let me know what's happening with me. Well, then you need to come over and have a few of the tequila cocktails that Varun makes. Yeah, cocktails and you, maybe, but yeah. You can record what happens and <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> then we'll do a rapid fire the other way around. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah. That that is one thing which I've been, you know, telling on the show for a while. That uh, I want to do a show when I am completely tally, and you know, the other person guest is also completely tally, and we we are like asking rapid fire questions to each other. Both are correct. Friday night, Friday night, eleven p.m. By the time you'll be drunk. I won't be drunk by then. It has to be at least twelve thirty. Okay, twelve thirty. Done. Yeah, twelve thirty. Take it. Done. Friday night, anytime. You know, uh, guys, friends, whoever is watching this, we are soon coming up with a late night talk show, and we will be live, and we will not be knowing what we are talking. So watch out. Don't kid, don't allow kids to join this particular show. So let's let's try that. That'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should be fun. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. But good, and and we can also have one more uh, friend joining in. Okay, so you know. Three, three people, you know, uh, joining in live. Awesome. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you know, uh, rapid fire question. I mean, we, I'm done with the questions, but you know, I, I do have a suggestion. Uh, when we are looking as a subscriber, uh, you know, this is a suggestion for uh, YouTuber uh, a creator like you. We would love to connect with you. Uh, one of the reason is um, you're doing it as a family, so it's just not Varun. It's like Varun, Anu, and you know your your kids are you know part of it, and we have they doing the creative. So we would love to see some memories, uh, bits and pieces of your wedding, 
you know, uh, your, your pre-wedding memories, how were you, uh, you know, during your childhood and all that, you know, because when we get connected, um, you know, we really want to know you well as family, as, you know, what, what was behind the scene. So do, do, you know, whenever you get time, you know, make some bits and pieces of memories from how you got connected because for you, you know, we are, as a subscriber, we are connecting with you as a family and we'll keep watching you. So when we know you yeah, well, absolutely. you know, it, it becomes a better bonding so that, you know, we, we never get a chance to unsubscribe. You know, that, that's, once we are connected, we are connected with you guys. So uh, great, yeah, great. Great. take time out and this so, is the right time. You'll have a lot of time, especially Varun. So, you know, yeah. it's your responsibility. So Saloni, Saloni Tandon, I I know you're watching this. Please take note and do the needful. <laughs> so you know, I look. I'm not, so Ravi, just so you know, I'm I'm um, I'm a creator, and so is she in terms of uh, food. Food, yeah, right? We know um, you've been the CEO, and you know how to delegate things. We we know as soon as you <laughs> delegate. Things. No, I look. I don't just. I just don't have the skill. I'll be honest. I can't do a video edit. So everything that you see, that's fancy edits and everything that's all comes out on YouTube eventually is all done by. My favorite sister in law, <laughs> like she uh, like to say oh, herself, right. Sunny okay. Kanton, uh, who's in luck now. Uh, mm. She's definitely watching this. I can assure you she's watching right now. That's uh, Anu's cousin. And yeah. uh, so she's been instrumental in in uh, packaging this and getting it out. So I'll, I will make sure I give her content and then she will make it look nice and so that people can <laughs> it to us. But great suggestion, though, Ravi. Thanks a lot. Cool. So now, now the main uh, question, you know, uh, as a couple, I mean, you're doing great and you're, you're inspiring people. You're, you're focusing on, you know, what's the need of any day. Like we, we get hungry every day and you're, you're basically treating people with loads and loads of uh, ideas to take care of their hunger. And more than that, the appetite, you know, just not hunger, but their appetite. So what would you guys, if you, you become a couple, as a couple, you become the chief minister. Or as a family, you become the chief minister. You get the responsibility of being, you know, uh, running a state. What would you guys focus on? You want me to go first? Or first, or you want to go first? Okay. So, okay, we live in Bangalore, and there's no secret. I think not just in India, the whole world knows that Bangalore has a traffic problem, right? And mm -hmm. uh, so it has infrastructure that hasn't, unfortunately, kept up with the speed of growth. So, and um, every time we have a new CM, they keep promising we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Um, and um, sometimes at the expense of greenery, which I'm against, just for the record, I don't want to cut any more trees, but there are still ways to improve infrastructure in Bangalore to make it more driver friendly and um, with less people cussing on the streets of each other and, you know, just a more pleasurable place. It's, it's, it's possible. So that's one part of it. The second thing, I believe um, any government is a two-way street, right? You can't mm -hmm. say government do this for me, you do this for me, you also need to do something. So what I would do is request the state since I'm CM uh, mm -hmm. to invest individually by house in sustainable farming. Just grow simple things. Yeah, uh, roast ka khana, your tomatoes, green chilies, mm -hmm. mint. It's all easy to grow. Um, you can't see, but right behind us we have a uh, you know is our, our backyard, and mm -hmm. uh, there are no decorative plants. There are only herbs that we use for cooking. Uh, there's papaya trees. We planted avocado. So I think, you know, it's, it's an easy thing. And um, neat, and, and, and let me uh, be honest, neither of us have a green thumb. Okay, so we're not mm. fancy gardeners. But there are things that are simple to do at home. And if you do that, then, you know, you're easing the burden on society. And plus, you're creating pure organic uh, produce for yourself. So learn to feed yourself and stop asking for handouts. So it's a two-way street. So that's one. And I think you have something as well, no, to add to that? Uh, well, other than, you know, definitely growing your own greens and herbs, uh, things that we can uh, easily grow in small pots, uh, what I really wanted to do, uh, which is possible for the government to do, is uh, streamline the education system. What mm -hmm. we are doing is only... Uh, you know, drilling in uh, mathematics and science uh, into the kids. What we are not teaching them is how to live life. Uh, during this uh, pandemic, what we are teaching our kids is, you know, something that they need to know how to handle life when they go on. It's not uh, just education, not just passing your exam or your boards. What you need to do is really beyond that. And I wish our uh, government would do that. The schooling system needs to be a little more uh, fine-tuned. 
No fine tune. Revamp completely. Right? <laughs> yes. yes. I I'm in total agreement with that. With that. Yeah. Good thoughts. I, I think I'm sure as a family, as a couple, and and this is the case. I think with all the chief ministers, you know, though you know one person, uh, you know, heads it. but entire family gets involved because they feel you know father is taking the responsibility or mother is taking the responsibility and but as a family we are leading the state and i'm sure you will do a great job uh, with you know your thought process so lo- lovely talking to you both uh, varun and anu and uh, it was a nice conversation sorry about the technical glitch in between but you know we definitely wanted to make this awesome we we customized the questions for you Uh, I, I changed my background for the first time, where I'm facing greenery because you know I, I <laughs> have also have some uh, small greenery. We have a terrace garden. We started uh, you know growing uh, you know things which Varun suggested just before pandemic, and it it is awesome Super. feeling. So good. Thanks for taking time out for this. Uh, so friends, we have Varun and Anu. Uh, do subscribe to their channel, and uh, you know the links are mentioned below, and you know. praise them uh, i i love the videos i personally seen couple of videos and we will keep following uh, you know those uh, tips and tricks we will subscribe and uh, do do spread happiness i mean one thing which i've seen with both of you uh, though there might be a lot of uh, differences between both of you but that's life and as a couple i mean i i will sleep imagining anu laughing at whatever you are saying uh, varun i think <laughs> that should continue for life and you know keep That's keep true. spreading positivity with uh, you know all that you are doing add a lot of humor to your videos and you know let, let's do that I, i think all we can do right now in this particular juncture is spread positivity so all the best with thank you so doing. much so it was such a pleasure talking yeah, to thank, you yeah thank thank you for having us really lovely and uh, for everyone watching please um you know share the okay. joy of love and cooking thank you guys thank you friends uh, have a lovely evening thank, thank you, you. Anu and varun bye take care, take care. bye bye